So I did a full review on Question Bank 2.0 of Prep Ladder, and now Question Bank 3.0 update is here. So what are the new features? Did they fix everything which was missing from Question Bank 2.0? Let's find out. Hey there, I'm Subhav Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. And I'm also finally a medical student. So doing questions for me, especially at this time, is really, really important because I have a lot of exams to give in my final year and beyond that. And Prep Ladder came up with a new update, the Question Bank 3.0. So this is everything, the good, the bad, and everything in between about this update. So let's make this review a bit more interesting. Let me do a question right in front of you in real time. I don't know if I'll get it right or wrong, but let me do it and let's see what are the new features of this question bank 3.0. So this is a question and what I first see is the last line. So it says likely source of bleeding is. So basically they are asking the source of bleeding and the four options are probably the arteries in the abdomen. And as I can see, it is from the forecut. Okay. That's the information I just got from the options on the last line. Now let's read the question. A 23 year old female presented to the emergency with complaint of two episodes of hematemesis. So hematemesis is the complaint. The last episode occurred about four hours ago. She is a known case of peptic ulcer disease. So we know we have diagnosed the disease. We already know the diagnosis. On examination, BP is 100 by 70, pulse is 86. And after initial management, Upper GI endoscopy was done which revealed bleeding from the lesser curvature, likely source of bleeding. So I think all we need to know is what artery is in the lesser curvature. So from my knowledge, I know that the left gastric and the right gastric anastomose on the lesser curvature of the stomach. So we have the fourth option left gastric. So let's just select this. And as you can see, this is the right answer. So now, right after answering the question, let's have a look how this has changed from question bank 2.0 and how this has become more feature rich. So right after answering the question, you can see that there are some highlighted points in the question. So words like hematemesis, peptic ulcer disease and bleeding from the lesser curvature are highlighted to let us know that these are the important things to look out for in the question stem. So if we get the question wrong or in this case, even if we got it right, we know that we got this question right after following and looking at these important points in the question stem. So this is active guidance. So how is it useful? So you see in the clinical questions, there are a lot of things given, some things to confuse you, some things that actually point to the right answer and help you differentiate between the options. So by this active guidance, we can look that our option choice, whatever option we chose was not a fluke and it was actually because we noted these important keywords in the question stem and deduced our answer based on that. So this helps in confirming that I know the basic concept underlying this question because I know those highlighted keywords and if the question were to come in my exam a little bit twisted but underlying the same basic concept or the knowledge I would and I should be able to get it correct in my exam. The second thing it shows you that how many people actually attempted this question and out of those how many got it correct. Previously it just used to show the percentage, minor change but it's a good addition that they now also show that how many people actually attempted this question. So the third change we notice here is that it has some tags. So it is marked here as NEAT pattern which just shows that this question was based on the pattern of NEAT exam. So there can be various exam, AIMS pattern, NEAT pattern and etc and etc. So for this particular question it was NEAT pattern. So for this particular question the explanation appears to be quite crisp and enough to differentiate among the various options. Now I attempted the whole module for this particular topic and I found some more examples where I found some differences between the question bank 2.0 and 3.0. So let's have a look at that. So in this question, we can see a video solution is attached to the question. So if we felt the question explanation wasn't enough or we just don't know the concept or we want to brush up on the concept, we can directly dive into this video, which will definitely explain the concept related to this question. So we can answer this question again when it comes in our exam and we do not miss out on this concept. So this is a useful feature I would say 
and if I get some question wrong I would definitely be looking if there is a video solution attached to it and it can help me understand the concept better. So a few more features I noticed were that some questions also had explanation for the wrong answer choices and this was very well missing in question bank 2.0 update which I had reviewed and I had specifically pointed out that well just have a look at it. Now one thing I also wish they had but uh, unfortunately I haven't seen this that the explanation should also feature why this option is wrong. Well now that's fixed so in future I should have no complaints in differentiating the answer choices because they have provided the feature I had asked for literally and giving me the explanation of the wrong answer choices so that's a big plus. Another thing I've noticed is that there are more clinical questions in this update. That means like the question we reviewed, a patient comes to the clinic, presents with this and it has a whole question stem with a lot of hints and the real question is in the end of what they are asking you. So this is like a clinically oriented question and this is where I think the Indian exams are moving forward to. So it is nice to see that there are more clinical questions with this update. So now a feature which was already there in the previous update but now has just become more frequent and one of these is treasures being attached to the explanation of these questions. So for those of you who don't know, treasures are basically a table based concept which helps in differentiating among various concepts or various diseases which are somehow interconnected so let's say inflammatory bowel disease and you have a table of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and it helps in differentiating them so that can be considered as a treasures so there are various different treasures in prep ladder and if it fits the question the question will link you to that treasure so you can go ahead and revise that treasure and you know revise the whole concept basically from this question now let's jump on to the custom module feature which has been revamped to a whole new level just because of one simple addition which I absolutely love which is the system tags. So in the previous update they had tags for NEAT pattern, AIMS pattern etc and etc and I have covered that in my question bank 2.0 update but in this update what they have is the system tags and I feel this is going to be really really necessary especially for me because I like to do my studies system wise and not subject wise. So this is a big addition at least for me. Those of you who study subject wise this won't matter to you but those of you who study system wise this is a big addition so you can just click on the tag for example I want to do respiratory system today so I just click that and all the questions for respiratory system I can do and create a custom module and another thing is I can even share this custom module with my friend so if I made a custom module and I want my friend to see it and even he has the subscription and he will get the question bank 3.0 update I will share the custom module and he can attempt the same module and we can compare our, our answer choices our result and another thing was that in the end when the result come a percentile comes in the end so whoever has attempted the question bank all of their results are you know accumulated in the server so I am compared to the best performer of this question module and I can see where do I lie for example the 77th percentile or something like that so overall these were the features which were added in this update and there are still some some minor feature which I would like to see like uh, ability to bookmark the questions differently for example colored bookmarks like blue green uh, red for different things I want to bookmark this question because I did not remember the concept so it has a different color I want to bookmark this question because I did not know this at all so this has a different color I want to bookmark this question because I knew this but I did a silly mistake so a different bookmark so this can be a minor tweak and update maybe next time we'll get this so overall I would say that this is a really nice update to the already good question bank 2.0 update and this just makes it better and my favorite feature would be the active guidance I would say 
because when I answer the questions, I really want to look at those key words which I focused on to deduce my answer. So that is my favorite feature. What is your favorite feature? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, then don't forget to drop the thumbs up button. And if you would want me to review more services and stuff like this, then don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also let me know in the comment section below, what do you want me to review? And until then, stay happy, stay safe and stay mad, but just about medicine.